Guys, I'm putting overdrive gears in the front of Optimus 2. This is a TRX truck and it still has a selectable diffs, front, back, and the two speed. We're gonna get right into the driving before and after and the installation of the gears will come after that. Take a look. Both diffs are open for this one. Basically the same thing. Just see how far we go. That's pretty good right there. And it looks like, wow, look at that. Okay, let's just see how far we go with both this open. <laughs> That's about it. Both this open. A little bit better. See where we end up over here. <laughs> That's where we end up. Just the front diff is locked for this. Let's see. That pushes quite a bit further out. Let's see where it comes over here. Looks like it's going to right into that rock. And we're stuck. Front diff locked. made that let's see where we end up over here oh you see that kind of a dig effect right there that was pretty interesting there it was again with that rear diff open it actually had to dig this is a first I've never seen one come all the way back around before. All right. Just the rear this time. Again, just like in the grass, it steers better with the rear locked and front open. And, oh yeah, all the way into the point now. Rear diff locked. Slow it down a little bit. See how this works out. Let's see here. Oh, stuck on the point. And for this one, both diffs are locked. See how bad it pushes. Definitely pushing out there. Oh, almost came off the edge. Let's see where it goes over here. Looks like way out. Let's see. <laughs> and it's wedged up against the corner. Both diffs are locked for this one. Let's see here. Ooh, close. All right, let's see where we end up. Pushing way out there on this one. Looks like that's it. With the short turn test, let's go ahead and drive these overdrive gears on some rocks and see if I notice a difference. Both ends are locked. So, see if we can make some progress here. Yep, 
Yes, my work gloves are left out. And they are no match for these tires. <laughs> oh, can't wait till these bugs are gone. Sometime, I guess, in the winter. So hard to find the time out here to record without these bugs just going nuts. Trying to get staged up for some concrete work and obstacle building. So, got some little rocks up on top this time. Got this thing here. Let's see if I can get across it without falling off the side. Oh, yeah, not a problem. I'm too busy watching the rocks. All right, let's get on down here. All right. This is always kind of a touchy little spot because it likes to try to flip you over. Because that back end needs to come around. Let's see if I can do a little bit different angle on it. There we go. Now I got a diff catcher rock right over here. Not bad. I guess the portal axles help me get across that diff rock. I'm talking about that one right there. It's kind of a ridge. a piece of cake whether or not the overdrive gears made a difference well I don't know that one more time on a different pile let's see what this thing has got here A little struggle right there. Now this does have the axe in it, the 2300 kV version, and it has the, uh, as far as the uh, throttle matching and all that, that's turned down as low as it can go, so. a little bit off my line there. Keep that back in on the rock. Ooh, got some wrinkle on that. A little bit of a loose section right there, isn't it? All right, now I'm gonna come down on the other side. So let me go get in position. I'm gonna try to bring it right down here without flipping. This way if I flip, I should get it in the camera nice. I don't think I wanna flip. See if I can ride this rock right here, right on off. And there we go. I should have done a before and after on the dirt. This is with open discs. Good to see a little bit better perspective here. That's not too bad. Go ahead and lock all the diffs. All right, let's see how that affects it. Definitely opens it up a bit more. So guys, in my turning test, I have never had one actually come all the way back around. 
Granted, with the open diff in the rear, it allowed it to kind of have some cutting brakes, sort of, effective, you know, just kind of what it was. You guys saw it. But that's the first time I've had anything actually come all the way back around on that slab, which is pretty darn cool, which means I'm keeping the overdrive gears in this. So if you want to know how they go in, keep watching. The process is the same for all of them. Take your steering links loose, you take the bottom kingpin bolt and the top kingpin bolt out on both sides, and then you can actually remove the portal covers and the gears out along with the inner axle shafts. There are four bolts on the inside that actually hold the diff cover in place. You're going to need to take those out. With a stock truck, it all takes a two millimeter hex wrench. With the portal boxes out of the way, you can see down here they come out with the axles like I mentioned. Now on this one, they have kingpin bolts. With the stock setup, you're going to have little bushings that go in there. Don't lose those. They will fall out and get lost. Now I'm going to work on the diff cover. It's upside down in this clip, but these are the four bolts I was referring to right here. And you also have to remove the drive shaft. That takes a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. With the diff bolts out, you can remove the diff cover and there's the actual ring gear. You should be able to pull this out. Let's see here. Now this right here is the actual locking mechanism as you can see right there. This is kind of got to work this out a little bit. And doing it one-handed, well, I guess I'm gonna need both hands. With both hands, I got it right out. Now these four screws right here, they use a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench, and those have to come out of the stock ring gear. With the ring gear off, you can see the internal gears. So, and this is not a sealed diff, so you can't add, you know, a million weight diff oil or anything. And that gear right there just simply pushes out right there where the axle goes in. And there is the stock pinion. You can just simply give it a tap and it's out. And you can also see the new ring gear right next to the old ring gear. The new pinion gear on the left is a bit larger than the other gear. And that's what helps give this an overdrive ratio as compared to stock. The new pinion gear simply slides right back in where the old pinion came out. With the new ring gear bolted up, it's time to just simply reassemble it. With the diff back in place, make sure that the locking mechanism is correct and sliding smoothly. The rest of it is just simply reassemble it in the reverse order that you took it off. With everything bolted back in place, you now have an overdriven front axle. And that's how you put the overdrive gears into your TRX4. Guys, thank you all for watching.